We'll start our program today by preparing the potato chop, which is the potato fried kimbi. Before we do anything, we have three pounds of potatoes here. I'd like to use Idaho potato. It's the best starchy potato for the potato chop. And um, it's about six to eight pieces, depending on the size of the potatoes. I have uh, some water uh, in, the, in the pot, and we're gonna bring the potatoes to boil. We cook it for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes until nice and soft. While we are waiting for the potatoes to cook, we need to cook it all the way until soft. We will prepare the filling. I'll have two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil in a skillet like this. We'll heat it up until nice and hot. And to this, I will add one small chopped onion. We will saute until soft. The onion has been sauteing for about two minutes and it's nice and soft. To this, we will add two pounds of ground beef. I like usually um, using um, lean beef. Uh, this is 90% uh, and 10% fat. And we will set it until brown. You see how brown and tender the meat is. We always season the meat with salt and spices after it turns brown so it will not draw any liquid from the meat and will then will tend to dry out a little bit. So to this we will season with some salt. I'm using about one and a half teaspoon of salt and about one to two teaspoons of mixed spices, bahara. It's a blend of many spices together. It's a black pepper, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon. It's a beautiful blend. And I have a recipe uh, or many other recipes for these mixed uh, spices in my cookbook. We will turn it off and we will set it aside to cool completely before we add the parsley to it. Potatoes is uh, been cooking for about 30 minutes, of course. We'll let it sit for a while to cool off a little bit. So it will be uh, cold enough for us to handle so we can peel it. So now we will peel it off. We want to peel the potatoes off while it's still warm. We don't want to peel it when it's too cold because it will be so hard for the potatoes or the skin to come off actually. But it's much, much easier when it's still warm. Peels right off. The potatoes are already peeled and they are cool enough for us to handle. So now we will use the potato riser to smash, to mash our potatoes actually. We could use the meat grinder or uh, we could use the uh, potato riser. So all that we need to do is I find the potato riser much, much easier and it gives you much finer um, uh, mashing than the meat grinder. So we will keep mashing all the pieces of the potatoes. You see how easy it is and how practical the potato riser is. We will let it sit for about two to three minutes to cool off before adding the other ingredient. Potato is nice and cool now for us to handle. Uh, now to this, we will add two eggs. We will beat the eggs just so it will be easy to incorporate into the paste. And then two tablespoons of cornstarch. You want to season with some salt. And then now we will mix everything into a smooth paste. Real easy paste to prepare. Only a few ingredients. The main ingredients, of course, are the potatoes. 
and you will see how easy it is. The egg and the cornstarch will work um, almost as a glue uh, to put everything together. And uh, this will help um, getting a nice paste and nice uh, kibbies when using the right uh, kind of potatoes. So I like to use Idaho potatoes that's uh, available at Kroger's. Uh, it has more starch in it and it will be perfect for preparing this paste. The meat filling is nice and cold. To this we will add half cup of chopped parsley. This will give it a lot of flavor and give it some freshness and also some color. Uh, but it's optional. If you don't want to use the parsley, you don't have to. Uh, for, uh, many people I know that they only use parsley instead of using onion and parsley. But uh, this is all optional, whatever you prefer to use. You could use both or one of them. Now the filling is ready. I will dip my hand in some oil because the potato paste is very sticky. And take a small portion, the size of... Uh, small egg actually and then make a hole in the middle just like that go around take about one tablespoon of filling in the middle bring the sides together over the filling to close everything and then form it into a flat patty, just like that, and place it on a tray like this. Real easy. Now make sure you dip your hand in oil every time because the uh, paste is very sticky. So try to form it into a smooth ball, and then using your finger, make a hole in the middle. Is some filling. Bring it over the filling to enclose. These kibbis are very, very popular um, Middle Eastern and mostly Iraqi uh, kibbis. Uh, they are used as an appetizer or um, great the kids love them great with sandwiches for kids uh, you can use them um, even for a brunch or for dinner making these kind of kibbis might take some practice so of course if you are making it for the first time uh, you might have hard time uh, forming these uh, kibbis or even have time hard time uh, filling them but uh, practice uh, is the key for making these kibbi. The more you make, the more often you make them, the better you will get into making them. And they are very, very flavorful and real easy to make and very healthy. It's a whole meal in one kibbi. Now we have all the kibbis here. We will cover them and they go in the fridge for at least one hour one to two hours, even four hours, before we fry them. The potato chop, uh, we're sitting in the fridge for about two and a half hours actually, and uh, the oil is nice and hot. We will start frying the potato chop. We will add one at a time, always. And we will wait 30 seconds before we add the next one. Especially when the kibbis are sitting in the fridge, the temperature of the kibbis is very cold. So if you add a lot of them, it's going to reduce the temperature immediately. So that's why you have to wait a few seconds before you add the next one. As soon as we see uh, the surrounding of the kibbi is turning uh, brown, we will flip it to cook it on the other side. Look how gorgeous and beautiful they look. Love the color doesn't take very long to cook these kibbis and I believe these are ready to come out drain any excess 
oil using slotted spoon place them on a tray lined with paper towel potato chop is cooked on both sides what a beautiful golden color we'll remove it and place it on a tray lined with paper towel to dry any excess oil they look amazing they smell so so good